Hi friends. Today's video is on speed. This was requested by Yesen Kandalama. I hope I said that right. Um, he asked, how can I get faster for kata and for sparring? So today I'm going to talk about a couple different methods and we'll try to make it fast and practical. Number one, practice eliminating tension. Relax. Oftentimes when you're trying to be fast, the muscles that are antagonistic to the action, like my bicep, when I throw a punch, my bicep functions to bend and contract my arm. But when I punch, I'm trying to extend and just use the tricep, maybe the pectorals, maybe some of the shoulder muscles. So if I'm relaxed, I have the ability to only use the muscles that I need for that motion. That's what I'm trying to do here. So relax. A couple things you could do. You could sing a song while you practice. One of my friends had great success singing, I'm so witty and pretty and bright as he was doing a kata. It was really silly and that helped him to take himself less seriously and relax while he was practicing. I like to smile. I like to experiment with feeling joy while I do karate. Um, if you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, Zuko, he firebends based on anger. And when he stops doing that, he needs a new power source, right? So this is kind of similar in that regard. Try relaxing by pumping some positive emotions into your practice. The next thing you could try is having an immediate contraction. Now, what does that mean? If you've ever listened to someone sing, they can hit different notes or they can slide two different notes, right? So you can go, ah, uh, or you could go, ah, uh, you, you can have that sort of transitionary period take time, or you can have it be instantaneous. When you're doing most quick movements in kata or in sparring, you want to imagine being in the fully extended position or back in your guard, nothing in between. I visualize lightning. So there's nothing, it's a dark sky, and then boom, it's there. And you see this fork of lightning fully extended between the ground and the sky, okay? So I visualize the finished point. And in that way, I avoid sliding between the notes. I go from one to the next right away. That sort of immediacy increases speed. And let's see if I can show you what I mean. I can have my guard up and I'm kneeling, so it's going to be a little silly, but I can imagine hmm, sort of having that full extension and going from A all the way out to B as a process, or I can just imagine the finish point and I don't, I don't really think about anything else. It's just, it's here or it's here. There's no time in between. There's no movement on the way. It's just all the way there already. Okay. So if you can eliminate the idea of needing to travel from a to B from the beginning to the finished position. If you, if you just take away the idea of effort there, this can improve your speed, make it more effortless, which again was the first tip. Um, and you'll be faster because you're not fighting yourself as much. Now, sometimes your body might not know exactly how to perform a technique. So it might be waiting on the right muscles to activate. It might, I don't want to say your body's thinking about it, but there might be some impediment to your performance based on you still trying to figure out how to do the move. So in the case of a punch, for instance, I like to practice in slow motion in as much detail as possible to lock in that technique. So if I'm doing the punch, I'm going to, you know, reduce it to really simple technique. I'm not going to worry about my stance yet or anything like that. 
and I'm gonna pull, trade places and extend, focusing on the two big knuckles, scraping the edge of my body, scraping the edge of my body, rotating at the last second. And in this way, I kind of dial in the technique that I'm looking for, okay? And then next, I would focus on relaxation while I practice and continue to try to increase the speed by allocating more effort to what I'm doing, more muscular activation. Now, I'm not focusing on speed per se, I'm actually focusing on being relaxed so that I can um, fight the urge to tense up. Again, if I allow my body to release and relax, then I'm taking advantage, hopefully, of only the muscles that need to contract for me to extend my arm in the punch or to swing my arm in in a chop or to come across in a block, right? I only want the muscles activated that need to activate and I want them to turn on right away. So with a punch, I focus on relaxing, the shoulders are down, I feel the extension and the scraping on the body edge. And then I start to speed it up by putting in more effort while still thinking about being relaxed. And in that way, I'm dialing it in, I'm training my body what to do, and I'm shaving off resistance. I'm shaving off waste, okay? The last element of speed that I should really touch on, I'm not, I'm not going to tackle it right now. It's kind of a separate issue, but one of my teachers used to just destroy me during sparring and he was in his fifties and I'd be like, how are you so fast? You know? And what he'd say is, I'm not, you are faster than I am. And I was like, no, I can't block you. I can't get you. And his point was, it, it isn't an issue of speed. It's an issue of timing. It isn't an issue of knowing how to do a move quickly. It's an issue of knowing when to start the move to appear fast. Does this make sense? So I'm not really going to tackle timing right now in this video. All of the tips that I gave are mechanical tips to increase the speed at which you perform. But if you can focus on timing as well, right, you can, again, I'm not going to go into it right now, but if you can focus on timing, then you can increase, increase the appearance of your speed. And that might be exactly what you want in sparring. So everything that we did today is going to help you for anything, but it's mainly focused on kata. It's, it's more about the performance. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have other questions. If you have something you'd like me to cover or talk about, let me know. I'd be happy to, probably. Thanks, guys.